What is up guys, Pie Muffin here. We are back with our SAO Rising Steel video. Today, we're gonna be hopping into the War of Underworld event. This is our third War of Underworld event. And uh, it's quite a bit different. You know, I'm already seeing, you know, like this level 330 enemy up here, which we're gonna be hopping in and fighting. Um, my team isn't the best because all, as lucky as I've been getting all these wind units lately, um, you know, they are all not so high. You know, Renly's still only 95. We got this new Asuna I got at 80. She doesn't really hit hard at all. We just make sure everyone's kind of got gear on. Um, yep. Um, I definitely need to go ahead and grab the water armor from the uh, current... Um, what do you call it? The... Um, why can't I think of it? Cathedral. Sorry. I, for whatever reason, I just could not think of what I was trying to say. Um, so there's that. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to switch out the rapier here and give it to Quinella because she's going to be more... Oh. No, you know what? I think we'll leave that because we're going to have Asuna in more um, for the charge. Whereas Quinella is really just going to be here for break. So we'll leave that. Leafa should be good, and then Sheta should be fine. Yep, that should be good there. Um, I don't think there's... Is there a skill for... They really should do a uh, skill for... Uh, which is kind of funny, because none of these are going to be like useful anymore. The, a lot of the old ones. Um, I guess we'll, we'll go with this one. Um, because, uh, crit activation rate by, oh, for light elemental characters, so light elemental will get it. I'll still take that increase, uh, just the overall attack increase, that'll probably be helpful here. So, uh, we're just gonna go ahead, we're gonna hop in, we'll give it a try. If you guys have any, uh, teams that you guys have been running, let me know down below what you've been using for this and what you find has been working for you. This isn't actually my, uh, boss, this is one, this is one of the requests for helps that popped up for me. But uh, we're going to see how well we can do. He's going to start off smacking us. And then there's that. So I think for this first round, we are going... Well, we're obviously going to break that down because we're not going to let him hit us with this. No, you know what? We're just gonna have Quinella do the other break. I'd much rather have the uh, type advantage be doing the damage here. Not sure how it would work, but it'd be kind of nice if the boss's damage worked in real time. So, like, as you're sitting here, if you just sat here for five minutes, you'd slowly see it go down for anyone else who attacks it. But uh, I feel like that might be a bit too much. I haven't really gotten to use Quinella since I pulled her too much, so it's nice to actually have a reason to use her now. Um, let's actually go ahead and switch out. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Start getting this charge up. And that'll be good. Yeah, I think we'll stick with this. So after his two attacks there, we can get an Incarnate off. We'll go ahead and we'll start with you, because we should be able to get another one off in time. So we'll have Renly do the other one. Okay. 
Hopefully we see some decent numbers here. 19,000, okay. You should be over 20,000. Yep, 26. 19, okay. Asuna's barely gonna do over 10. Not even 10, yeah. She's not a very hard hitter, that's for sure. Might also be due to the fact, you know, these bosses may be resistant to magic, is what it might be as well. Um, we'll go ahead, we'll use this turn to heal real quick. Um, yeah, that's fine. We'll just go Assault with these two, and then we'll have Leafa boost Asuna in the next rotation. Thirty-one thousand, right there. That wasn't bad. Ah, oh, well, we're not gonna be boosting anybody now. Yeah, it's not gonna do much here. I don't. Yeah, we're not gonna get another incarnate off here because of that. But that's okay. Um. I guess we'll just go for straight assaults for the rest of this. So was it seven turns? So it's one, two, three. So Shaita, after the two, after the, uh, what do you call it? The goblin gets to attack twice. Um, is he a goblin or is he a giant? Yeah, he's a flatlands goblin. Okay. Um, I think I may, oh, she hits hard, so I don't kind of want to waste that. Trying to decide who I want to do what. Actually, it doesn't really matter if anyone dies, because th this doesn't have completion goals. We're just going to assault for the rest of this. Yeah. Probably wouldn't bear her to use Queen Ella, since she's a single target attack. But Shaita gets two attacks, so we'll take that. I mean, she could heal herself, but I'd much rather just get off some attacks if I can. Friendly might go down from this. Oh nope, he's fine. So we get one last attack. Let's uh, let's do this. All right, let's see how much we did there. That's actually the best I've done against this boss so far. Two hundred ninety-six thousand. Um, for a lot of these fights, I've really just been kind of auto-battling them, because it's like, it's so much work to just sit here and do all these fights over and over and over. So essentially what I do, if you're going, if you want to try and auto-battle this, um, which is what I do, is I essentially just, so I do this, and so what is that, break, break, break. Yeah, this is pretty much the rotation I use. It doesn't always work, but honestly, with how many of these, like, war refills I have, look at this, I got 24 of the fives. And 78 of the one. So I, I'm not really caring about being conservative with those war points. Um, because by the time it comes back around again, you're going to get plenty anyway. So I recommend just putting three break characters on your front team along with your healer. And, uh, you know, make sure any of those bonus characters you have can be on that rotation. Uh, or just on your team in general. You could just throw... If you have, like... Two carrot, like for example, if you're confident your first team isn't gonna die, like you could use this Sinon or Yui in the bottom right hand corner as well, uh, if you just want to have that bonus. But uh, overall, that's pretty much what I've been doing. I haven't really farmed this too much, uh, just because there's been a lot of other stuff going on, you know, in different games and stuff like that. Let's actually update, see how far. Okay, so yeah. I'll probably just uh, auto-battle this, like, one or two more times. Probably just one more time. There's only... Uh, oh, because there's a damage dealt combo going on. Maybe that's why we did so much damage. But uh, overall, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to try and get to 80,000 points if I can. The event shop has a new location, so if you like having a new background, um, this might be a place you want to kind of grab. 
as well as it does have 30 crystals for each uh, element between Earth, Wind, and Dark. I've already grabbed two of the Wind. Uh, definitely going to grab at least the Wind and Dark. The Earth I can't really use right now because I have no units. And then there's some Sinon crystals if you need to work on any Sinons. Uh, there's some single scout tickets. Almighty crystals, I'll definitely be grabbing those because that's... Uh, I think that's what I'll need to get Renly actually to 100 within these next few uh, days. So I'll do that. And then I think after that I'll work on Liz um, getting her to 100 because she's pretty close. Let me actually look real quick. Actually, before Liz, even though there's no crystals there, I might want to work on... Where is she? Because my three level 95 characters are Renly, Liz, and Dakura. How close are you, actually? Yeah, she's not going to be close at all for at least a little bit. But uh, I would like to get her to 100 as soon as I possibly can. And uh, as I mentioned before, I do need to get the blue armor for Yu-Gi-Oh! and... Uh, Sword Tiliana. and I have seen a lot of people say that, you know, why are you getting the armor? It's not even for these characters. Um, unless you fully limit break the armor, it doesn't have the specific character boost. So, um, let's actually go and just look at that real quick. Um, so, like, obviously this armor is, you know, not meant for you know, like Yu-Gi-Oh or something, but it is water element. So you can say, I mean, you can put any element armor on any character if you really want to. But, um, you know, that HP increase definitely makes a world of difference as well as it being just better armor in general. Um, so until I actually care, until I have enough armor to where I don't care, um, I'm just going to be grabbing, you know, like one or enough copies to just put on my characters for now. And then I'll worry about fully limit breaking it later down the road. But that's going to be it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Let me know how you guys are doing in the War of Underworld event down below. I'm going to try and farm it a little harder now, now that there's not really too much else for me to do in the game. Um, because I did get those beginner missions out of the way. I'm done with farming this event. So all there really is for me to do is the War of Underworld event and the Cathedral itself. Which, uh, Cathedral, I might do a stream for. We'll st I'm still deciding whether I want to do that or not. But that's going to be it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.